Sometimes I get comments telling me that the music I make with my harp and my music gear can be done with plugins instead, and basically all the music hardware that I have in my studio is just a big waste of money. When I make music, I'm usually using like 90% music hardware and like 10% plugins, and Russ uses plugins mostly to mix. If I got rid of my whole music gear collection and just used Ableton, would I still be able to make good music? I don't know how to use Ableton. I've never used it before. So I'm gonna invite a pro to come to my studio and help me out. So this is Bad Snacks, and she's not only an incredible producer, but she's an amazing string player as well. First, I'm gonna make the best music I can with only a laptop, and then she's gonna show us what she does starting from scratch. All right, should we switch spots? <sighs> So this is, is so Emily's great. first time with Ableton. I do not feel confident about this at all. I feel like this is gonna topple me. Pokemon my ass version. <laughs> <laughs> You're basically putting someone who has no drum knowledge in front of this program. No, this is great. Where do we want to start? Like, I always like the beat that goes bum, chip, bum, chip, bum, chip, Like a reggaeton? I don't know what it's called. I know it goes <laughs> bum, chip, bum, chip. Let it be known, I am not an expert in that realm. We can start like- I think, no, I feel like this is a good place. Okay. <laughs> Let us two white women make a reggaeton <laughs> beat. That's like every kick that I've I've ever in my entire oh library. Oh my god! Can I just play? Can I just play one? I like this one. It says "kick bag of shit." <laughs> it sounds like a bag of shit being dropped on the floor. Exactly. Which is a sound that I'm all too familiar with. <laughs> Whatever tickles your fancy. That's the one that you can just like drag over into. Yep, there okay. you go. Is that the bag of shit one? That's BBL kick. But I'm gonna put bag of shit also. BBL. Like Isn't that like a butt lift and then you can copy it and paste it onto the next bar division and then oh i get it do 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 okay and this then really great you're like you're halfway through the measure <laughs> <laughs> so you just have to fill the other half mm -mm. No, no, no 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 not with like just with the kick <laughs> you can hit uh command d and that's duplicate yeah oh, and just shift it over with the air okay or <laughs> We should probably bring in the tempo down. So do you see okay. where it says 120? I've never seen anybody do it. <laughs> Let's try a rim. Rim. Yeah. Oh, I, that's it. So so don't okay. drag it into the same. I'm gonna put it over here and then no. show it. <laughs> oh no, okay. Here we have three bars later, which I don't know how that's gonna serve you. <laughs> I was putting it there to save it for later, and then I would put it in spots. Save like, it for later, like a little snack. <laughs> <laughs> Turn this off. This is what you've just done. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, you, yeah, you got it. No. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this, yeah. and then we're gonna move it like maybe there. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah! yeah. And Whoa. then keep that, there you go. Hey! But how do we make it sound cooler? Try me. This is like really empowering, right? Isn't it cool? Yeah. If you hit M, that's gonna turn your keyboard into a playable instrument. You have to just record enable the track though. Let's say I didn't want to pick childhood piano, but the information is in there. Can I? Yeah, you can just swap it out by dragging and dropping. If it was terrible, would you tell me? No. Neither of you would tell me. Not at this moment. <laughs> what are the, the effects over here? Airplane wave? Uh, th those are your... You know what would be like an amazing VST? I think you have one, the Miku pedal. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Like doing, but like doing like the animal crossing equivalent where they're like meow, 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 meow. Oh my god. You know, they need to have, they, that doesn't that exist. Up. Yeah, I think that should exist. Oh, <laughs> like, it exists. It exists. <laughs> Stop. Free, it's free. Hold on. It's gonna give you a virus. <laughs> That's the cutest thing ever. Hey, the little whistle. whistles. Imagine I put out a band camp and it gets like mad sales. We want to split revenue on that? <laughs> you want your name? <laughs> okay, so now our roles are reversed. <laughs> and you are back to your rightful position in making good, 
good beats and I will accompany you. I really want like a 6-8 shuffle. I never make them. I don't know, I'm also kind of inspired from yesterday. It's a bra brave <laughs> <laughs> Very brave. It's yeah. a brave thing to do, um, to try things that you haven't tried before. Okay, I'm turn this down. Yeah, there we go. So I have like two kicks and one of them I'm making like softer. It's kind of like a ghosty kick. Let's see. Programming drums is such a wild ride. Sometimes it's like, okay, how would like a real life drummer do this? And at the same time, there's so much about it where it's like this defies the laws of what yeah, a, yeah. a drummer would do. So if we were to turn this into like a four bar phrase. I should do an open hat there. Um, I want something a little mellower than that. Maybe, maybe, let's try it. This bar is where we can put like a fill kind of thing. Actually, there's a hat called Tinch Hat, which I think is perfect because it literally sounds like a tinch. Oh my God, that's amazing. Tinch. Tinch, tinch. At this point, I have three different hi-hats going on and you definitely wouldn't do that. Could have multiple drummers in, in a room, like a drum band. Yes. There's one guy in charge of the tinch, the tinch guy we call him. The tinch guy. I'd love to be that guy. Do we like the, the snare roll better or do we like the... Oh, I gotta still keep that in there. Nah, I like the snare roll better. So we have now the drum groove. And I don't want to like overcook these because obviously we haven't added yeah. anything else. So like a couple cool things that I really like to do to be extra is I like to throw this drum bus on it. The thing that I love the most about this is like the transient de-emphasizer or like emphasizer. So if I like really want to tighten this up, it makes it so punchy, and if I want to be like super extra, I always kind of go more towards tightening them. And then if you want to make it like a little bit vintage sounding, it... yeah, it's kind of dark, right? You should honestly just play whatever, because the other thing too is I can like chop, chop it. it. Harp is one of my favorite things to sample. It's like, there are all these tiny little phrases in there. It's all like the resonance too, I feel like, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Hold on, I'm gonna be really obnoxious about this for a second because it kind of feels like a guitar to me. I like these two a lot. Yeah, I like Oh, I like yeah. that. All of this is cool. Everything that you gave me is cool. And one of the reasons that I also like using Serato a lot is because the pitch shifting is like super smooth. So if we wanted to like... in D minor over this and just seeing what comes up. Yeah, that's sick. It's very, very textural. layers lady. Mm -hmm. I think it comes from being a string player where I'm like, I, you, you can fit a whole, 120 <laughs> instruments can fit in this. You should add a part on this. <gasps> oh.
guys, so if you enjoyed that track, we actually just uploaded an instrumental version of it to Bandcamp and the link will be in the description below. It doesn't have the violin solo in it so that you can put in your own solo. So if you would like to solo over it, take a little video and upload it, you can use the hashtag harpsnacks or the hashtag kick bag of shit and we'll be looking for either one of them and we'll be just reposting some of our favorites. So have fun, knock yourselves out. What did you learn today? I learned that I'm not very good at Ableton yet. <laughs> I think music creation just comes down to what you're most comfortable with and what your budget allows for. And there's no like right way to do anything. So just do do whatever. I think that's really I think that's really nice. Thanks, thank you.